Why, hello everyone, my name is the D Rogers, that's right, the D, and welcome back for another COE tutorial, that's right, this is Path 2 on Guardian, this is do's and don'ts, so let's start it off right away, let's see if we can choose the path, oh, let's get the swiftness, that's right, the swiftness, let's see if we can get it going here, oh, there's the static field, let's blast it for the swiftness. Someone needs to talk to Spire, and there it is. All right, what you want? You want to have purging, hollowed, and wall. You're gonna go in there like that. You're gonna use great sword five. You're gonna pull. Oh, that's right. I just did it. You're gonna great sword leap. You're gonna swap the sword focus. Do four on the mobs. And do five for the block. Then get in the corner. Drop a purging. Wait for the elementals to come in and drop a wall. Then you're gonna attack. Just do the damage. That's right. The D is for damage. Oh wait, maybe it's not. So now we're gonna go in the champion corner over here. For the wolf. Let's see it. If I could survive this time. Let's see. Let's see if I can. I think we're going in soon. Oh, I guess we're gonna bust the mic. We're going in. Let's see. Did I, did I die? No, I didn't die. All right, let's do it. Remember, do's and don'ts. That's a do. So we're gonna go ahead and attack here. Do your DPS rotation on this ice wolf and get it going. Let's see how long it takes to kill this one. He's still over half health. Oh, there it is. He's at 50%. He's at 7. Nope, he's at tw almost 25 Almost 25, there it is, there it is, we're getting there, we're getting there, and what do you know, that was a, that was a clean kill. So now we're going to stay behind and do a blast swiftness field for the spire, if Ellie puts down a static field, let's see if they do. Are they going to put it down? Are they? And they did, there it is, right there, go ahead and swap out for the staff, and go ahead and give her another swiftness, so she's no longer slow. That's right. Alrighty, sell some stuff on the TP, you can pick your nose, you can do anything you want till she gets to the council people. That's right, let's see, I got a gold 93 for that one. Alrighty, let's see, is she almost there? Let's take a look. Let's get some materials, and she's there, ooh, there it is, watch out. Oh, what? Maybe she'll flip it over. Maybe she'll flip my D. That's what I'm talking about. Switch out your wall for retreat. Remember, this is path two, so you do have to be conscious of your Aegis on the alpha for the fire attack. Let's see. There it is. Skip the cutscene. Let's choose the path. We want to choose path two. There it is. I'm going to leap towards my group to get there faster. I'm going to put on a staff for the swimble. Swimble. Haha. <laughs> Symbol three for swiftness. Let's do this. Alrighty. We chose the path, let's get through the wall, and let's go! Do not use retreat, remember this is path 2, you gotta have the Aegis for the fire attack, or you have some dead Ellie's. So let's go ahead, let's get a fear me on this, and there's the fear, and then there's the DPS, you run in and drop a purging. You run in, there you go, there you go. Now remember, there's the ice attack, Aegis, dodge, and there's the block on the fire attack, look at the parties out, they're all good. So, how you do the Aegis for Path 2 is after the Ice Attacks on the first go on the first Golem, first Alpha, after the Ice Attack, you use Retreat. Then after the next one, you use the uh, F3 for the Aegis. Remember, after the Ice Attack is when you Aegis for Path 2. You want to pick up a Warrior's Banner, of course, to run it down the hallway. This whole water system, remember we went over it before, that's not really water, who would have thought? So we're going to go ahead and go to the next part. Let's see what we're doing here. Oh, we're doing a rush. That's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Let's do this. All right, and we got the silvers here. Remember, there's five silvers. Last time I told you to pull to the middle, I'm going to rephrase that. You're going to go in the corner. You're going to drop a hollow. You're going to put a focus five down. You're going to wait a little bit till they come in, then do the pull. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Now they're coming in. Oh, wait a minute. Everybody stood in the red circles and got killed by the J. Ooh, that's a noob thing. So watch out for the J, people. You want to watch out for those AOE circles that cause bleeding. All right, time for the lasers. Let's see what happens. Remember, this is do's and don'ts. You're going to see a don't here in a minute. Oh, they trolled me and I got swiftest and I died. Oh, and someone is down. So now we have to wait. And there's the waypoint. All righty. Let's do this. Let's wait for the lasers to come here. There's this troll swiftness again. Let's see, can I make it? Let's do the jump. Let's find out. We're jumping, we're jumping, we're jumping, we're jumping, and there we go. And guess what? Everybody will be waypoints. Hey, there it is. Wait, wait, 
Wait, there it is, everybody with me waypoints. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Now we have to wait for everyone to run across. Let's see, can they do it without dying? Hmm, and we'll see about that. Oh, I think we got someone across. There we go. Remember, sw switch, swatch. <laughs> switch out your retreat for shield and switch out your purging for wall. Remember, this is for the going boss. One of the best bosses in this dungeon is next. We go up two sets of stairs. There's the one. And then there's the second set right there. We're going up. Remember, you're going to hug the left side here. Just like that. And we're going to go up to those little things on the ground. We're going to stand by these. We're going to get everyone in. Once everyone gets in, we're going to go on to the boss. We're going to pull him with... Uh, not Focus 5. Great Sword 5. There it is. There's the pole. Put down a hollow. Wait for the first skill. Put down a wall. Everyone stand behind the wall. Then do your DPS. Remember, when your wall is about to expire, you put down shield. Also, if he does the spit attack first, do not put down your wall. And, if he does the spit attack, remember to dodge through him. I believe that does work. We did test it. So, remember also your sword 3, if you can get your shield off in time, your sword 3 is a pro uh, projectile notification. So, you can use that until your shield is up and working. Run to your DPS rotation on your great sword, and you swap over. Oh, there's another wall, and he's dead. Alrighty, grab a banner, and let's run to the next room. The next room is the room with the cannon. That's right, the cannon has to shoot down the door. That's right, the door. So we gotta do this right. We're gonna have everyone come in. We're gonna pull the two silvers together with Great Sword 5 again. That's right, that's what we're gonna do. Oh, get some loot, deposit collectibles, and let's get going. Now remember, this is do's and don'ts. You're gonna see a don't here pretty soon. You could keep your greatsword, you could auto attack, kill those little white golems, the golems of death is what I like to call them. You switch out your wall for purging, because remember, the silver's projectiles are not projectiles after all, who would have thought? Anyway, so we're gonna go here, and oh, there it is, there's the silvers, there's the, there's the greatsword punt, right there, no, punt, pull, there's the pull, there's the hollow, and what do you know what we punts out? So you gotta watch that. This is what my friend Shiva used to feel all the time, he used to put down the Great Sword 4, and then the fire field, so we get area retail. Roger, how you know, Shiva style. Alright, look at the cannon. The cannon's going down. This is when I noticed the cannon is dying. Look at this. No one on the cannon. So someone, we had to go back on the cannon, and make sure it did not die. That's a don't right there. This is dudes with don'ts. Remember that. So we're going ahead, and we're going to kill. We're going to wait till the next two silver spawn. Oh, there's some more whites right there. Remember, you can solo the room as long as you kill the whites. The two silvers are red. We're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna pull, put down a fire field, and then run through your DPS rotation. Remember, if the one golem sits the ground and creates an AoE circle around him with the ice, you will dodge out of it before he blows up. There's a static field for the days. There he is. He's in the ground. There he is. Dodge out of it. Make sure you don't get hit. And there's the explosion right there. Okay. At 96%, we'll go to the door. Not the door, the chest. We open the chest, and then we hug the left side, like so. We're gonna hug the left side, go around. Right there it is, right there. We're gonna hug the left, wait for the champion and the two Defiler Silvers to come down the stairs. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There they are, they're all bunched up. They're gonna pass the threshold, which is the green line. Wait a minute, wait for it, wait for it, and there it is, there's the threshold. Once they all pass, then you can go ahead and go. Remember, you want to be on your sword focus. You're going to sword two, one of the, go one of the big uh, abominations, and then you're going to spam F1 and great sword three, the other one. There it is, there's the blind, so you don't have a bunch of dead Ellie's, that's right. And uh, if there are conditions, don't forget to hit F2. Oh, and there it was, there's some uh, grubs down there we had to kill. So usually what we're going to do at the top of the stairs, we'll stack swiftness, but what we guess, someone got a little jumpy on the gun again, look at that. So I want you to go past the threshold, there's no going back. So we're going to run on through, run on through to the other side. That's right, that's what I'm talking about. So we're going to go over here, we're going to stack at the corner, wait for everyone to come. If we have the wraith with us, that is fine, we will go to the corner with the wraith, but luckily we did not have the wraith this time. Oh yeah, so we're in the corner right here. Alright, it's about to get tasty. That's right, we're gonna stack that might. And we're gonna pull with focus four. 
And as soon as he gets close, we're gonna use the hollowed, just like that. There's the hollowed, and someone should ice bow freeze. After the ice bow freeze, he should do his fire attack, so make sure you guys have an Aegis up. All right, there's the Aegis. Keep on going, keep on, don't forget to switch back and forth between your greatsword sword focus for your DPS rotations. If you have, if you don't have enough might, make sure to put down a fire field. Purging is a condition one, so if someone forgets to dodge. Oh, we got someone down, look at that, look at that. Gotta res the noob. Alrighty, res him up. There it is, there's the XP. I love getting skill points from down players. Okay, next part, we either go to stack swiftness, or you're gonna use staff number three to give us swiftness. Let's see what we got. We used the staff three. Oh no, they also did the blast. Okay. So now, we're going to great sword leap. I'm su you're supposed to switch to your staff so you can put a line of warning in this hallway right there. But of course, this is do's and don'ts, people. Don't do what I did. So we're going to go in here. You're going to switch out your great sword for a staff. And you're going to kill those freaking volatile blossoms. Just like that. The reason you do this is so that your party does not walk through them and give each other poison. It poisoned for 30 seconds really does suck. Not as much as, never mind. Okay, we're going for the rifle. Don't forget to kill these patches. I like to call them patches of Huma Hand. What, from what movie, you will never know. So also, we're gonna go through here. We kill the patches. Remember, uh, usually we don't have someone kill the patches. You drop your rifle, kill whatever you got. Since this, this, this is the Guardian video, you have your Staff 3 and you have Staff 2 or Staff 1. Uh, if you had a thief, oh wait a minute, this isn't the thief video. And we're gonna go ahead, so when it spawns, it's gonna come about halfway out, or whenever it stops, I should say. Whenever it stops, you're gonna hit it with number one on rifle. Oh, there's two patches. Dodge out of the AoE, hit it with one, and it explodes. Why does it explode, you ask? Because there was still a patch up. If there's a golem next to a patch, you hit it with one on rifle, it will kill you. Also, this is the room where you could play dodgeball with your friends and guildies. Punch a golem into your friend and watch them die. That's right. This is the rage room. The rage inducer. That's right. So we got more patches up. We're going to hit staff three. We're going to hit staff one. Kill those patches. Get me a rifle. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not on it. I end up killing my golem because I didn't have the rifle. There's the rifle. We got it now. Alright, let's see, we got another golem. I got a heal that I didn't need. Thank you. Thank you, Ellie. Oh, there's the golem. I hit one. This should go in. Perfect. There it is. And look, a guildy's dead next to me. Let's res him up. He tried to kill me with a golem and killed himself. He's under 50% health, so you could go ahead and get your tags here. Remember not to use Staff 2 or any projectiles when the roots are up. See? Spire is gonna kill herself. Oh wait, that wasn't Spire, that was someone else. Ah, there it is, you can see it. When the roots are up, remember it, reflex projectiles. Alright, there's another golem. It stopped, hit one, there you go. Someone tried to kill me with a golem, and it didn't work. Another staff three, and maybe an F1 for the little more tags, so you can get a chat box from him. Alrighty, let's do this. And there it is, there's the number one, there it's going in, it's going in, and BAM! And there you go, he tried to kill me and punted it away from me instead of George me, but what does he know? I have an Aegis, that's right, he just does block, the Golem attack, the Golem explosion. So switch out your staff, back to your greatsword, and go ahead and trigger. Then everyone's gonna hop in this little corner here. I'm all gonna stack, right about, mmm... When he turns red, we're going to stack it mine. There it is. We're going to stack it mine. I'm going to pull with focus four from the doorway, and almost when it gets to him, you're going to hug back in the corner. But you're going to use a hollowed right before he comes in. And usually, some ice spell freeze. Don't dodge out of the corner. Remember, this is do's and don'ts. Now we're just going to DPS. So remember, this alpha, you don't need the Aegis after the AoE red circles. And if you miss the Aegis, F2 is a cleanse. And so is a purging. That's right, a purging. Alrighty. You can hit uh, your renewed focus to recharge your virtues if you need it. If the fight's going longer. And if, don't forget, you can pick up an ice bow and hit four and three on it. Do not pick up the lightning hammer. Since there were so... Oh, there it is. Remember, do's and don'ts. I did pick up the lightning hammer. 
And there it is. We killed the last boss right there. This is COE Path 2 with the DD Rogers. Oh, yeah.